So with Capcom's Resident Evil 8 video game now having to create a boatload of rumors within the Resident Evil community, there have been many people within the community itself seemingly divided on the idea of all of the rumors and concept ideas that Capcom is looking to incorporate within the Resident Evil 8 video game, and it's because of this that Resident Evil 8 thus far had created such a buzz within the community that it has a lot of people talking about whether or not some of these ideas are going to be a good thing going into the game. Now, some of the concept ideas that were going to be introduced for Resident Evil 8 were a snowy landscape and a village that happens to be located somewhere in Eastern Europe, along with having zombies make a comeback within the game itself, and wolf-like creatures, Ethan having to be stalked by witch-like characters. So, in my own opinion, I do believe that Resident Evil 8 definitely needs to follow its predecessors when it comes down to the basis of survival horror. You don't want to turn Resident Evil 8 into what Resident Evil 6 ultimately was, and that was an action-packed shooter that lacked on a lot of the survival horror traits that made Resident Evil what it once was, which is actually why a lot of people are concerned on the idea of there being mutated creatures and witches. Now, when we go back to Resident Evil 7, when you look at the fundamentals of of what made Resident Evil 7 so special was the fact that we were trapped in this house where there was essentially no escape and there was an eerie atmosphere that was basically bestowed upon the characters going into the game and as you progressed further you found out that you were in a situation to where you faced off against the family that was infected and basically under the influence of something that you had absolutely no knowledge of and going into Resident Evil 8 there are lots of rumors of hallucinogens having to be incorporated and if that ends up being the case then I do believe that by having a similar setting to that of Resident Evil 7 really isn't going to be that bad, especially if you believe that you're seeing things and you think that something is there when in fact it's not, I think that that would definitely incorporate itself very well, especially when coming across zombies and then you really have to take that into account and wondering to yourself if you're just simply hallucinating or if those zombies are actually there. Now, the one aspect that I'm very excited about is the overall mention of us having to go and explore a snowy land landscape to where there's going to be villages and castles and all types of mysteries that bring us back to the original Resident Evil 4 setting, but in a different way. So we don't really know the structure of how this is going to go down. We don't know the size of these maps or these castles, but one can only imagine that it's going to bring us into uncharted territories where we're going to be tasked with the mission, especially with Ethan having to be there, to where one of the biggest rumors about Resident Evil 8 is the fact that Chris Redfield is going to be coming back, except there's going to be a twist with Chris Redfield that towards the end of one of the video game outros we get to hear how there is a voice that cries out, no, it can't be why you? So perhaps maybe something went down with Chris that's going to cause Ethan and Chris to have somewhat of a dispute, maybe an altercation. So that's going to be interesting in the fact that there's going to be potentially something there. But the only concern I have, among many others, is the overall development of the Ethan Winters character. Because in Resident Evil 7, we can all come to a universal agreement and agree in the fact that Ethan Winters in Resident Evil 7 was boring. He had no development. He barely had anything to say, if that at all. So what they need to do to expand on the lore of Ethan Winters and to make him a very profitable, a viable, and relevant character within the Resident Evil universe, they're going to have to further expand on his lore, on his background, give him more development, allow the people to actually sympathize and invest and care for the character because in Resident Evil 7, not many people did that and the fact that he's going to be coming back, a lot of people do have an issue with Ethan having to be the main character again, unless they give him actual dialogue unless they actually allow him to come into his own rather than just being a silent machine then of course that would work wonders if they were to further develop him but on top of that what I'm also very interested to know is there's nothing new when it comes down to BOWs and Umbrella and other corporations and entities working on genetically modified experiments with humans and animals and whatnot so what I really want to know is what they're going to do with these werewolf like creatures these wolf like creatures because a lot of people have an issue with this having to be a thing potentially in Resident Evil 8, but if you go back to the Regenerators and the Hunters and the Lickers and you go back to all of the other previous games that introduced Tyrants and Nemesis and all of these other wacky concepts and ideas, 
this one really isn't too far-fetched, especially in the fact that we've seen, you know, animals and we've seen, you know, different kinds of things go down in Outbreak and many other RE games. So if they were to execute this the right way, I think that this could really work well. On top of the fact that we're going to have these witch-like characters or a witch-like character that's going to be stalking and pursuing Ethan as of right now that of course is a rumor but even if that ends up being the case are these characters very similar to Lord Sadler from RE4 or Salazar or the head honcho the big cheese from RE4 like you know what are these characters and how much of an importance are they going to be for the story because if anything I do believe that people should not lose hope or at least criticize something that we barely have any information on because Capcom apparently have been working on Resident Evil 8 now for just about a few years there were lots of conflicting reports suggesting that Capcom had been working on Resident Evil 8 ever since the conclusion of Resident Evil 7 so that would give or take about three years or so that they've been in development for this game and if this game is supposed to come out in about a year and a half to two years from now then that would ultimately mean that Capcom had been working on Resident Evil 8 for just about four and a half to five years. So you really don't have any room for opportunity to mess this up, especially for Capcom and the fact that they have been improving ever since the events of Resident Evil 6 and finally having to listen to its consumer and give the fans what they want. Although whatever it is that the fans do want to see is highly subjective in the idea that not everyone is going to agree on the same thing here, but I think that what a lot of people do agree on for Resident Evil 8 is to keep the game mainly grounded on survival horror, give Ethan Winters more development, allow the enemies to feel important and feel menacing, allow the characters to blossom and grow into their own rather than having to either force a narrative down someone's throat and just for the love of God allow the story to actually connect with the previous RE games and have everything make logical sense. You don't want to include any logical fallacies or anything that would contradict the RE story in this upcoming title, especially when the main focus is going to be that this game is potentially going to be released on the new Xbox and PlayStation consoles. So that's something you want to drive and really sell to your fans in the idea that this is going to be a revolutionary RE game and you don't want to stray away in making this not feel like Resident Evil by doing something that really contradicts the overall narrative of what Resident Evil is. But in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about the potential of Resident Evil 8 and what your overall expectations are. If you're someone that genuinely hates the idea of there even being a Resident Evil 8, then I genuinely want to get your thoughts in the comment section below and if you're someone who's really excited and cannot wait for this upcoming title then drop your comments in the comment section below as well as some of the things that you're concerned about and some of the things that you yes you want to see because although all of us have our own opinion as to what we want to see and what works best for Resident Evil I think that we can all come together in having this intellectual conversation in the comment section below about what would work best for RE8 and what would be most detrimental if they were to include it within the game itself I want to get your feedback back down below guys again thank you all so much for watching if you guys love resident evil and genuinely are fans of the product then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications slap this video up with a big fat like if you guys simply love resident evil and all in all i really do hope that whatever game this ends up being if it's changed from resident evil 8 to something else or if it actually is called resident evil 8 i really do hope that this game revolutionizes what resident evil is because we've all grown up with Resident Evil over the years and we've both seen good games, bad games, but the last thing we need is for Resident Evil 8 to go backwards and adapt the concepts of Resident Evil 6 and just becoming a product to where it's no longer keeping the same identity of survival horror but more or less straying into something else. I don't think that people want to see that and I think that people genuinely want to see something different here and they have the greatest opportunity to do so but the question is are they going to capitalize? So again, thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for the next video if you guys want to check out more of these awesome discussions. I have a Resident Evil 8 playlist link located down in the description box below. Thank you all once more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace!